and again I can take a look at a texture mapping mode here and the cool thing about this is that I can play it back and as it plays back it plays back the video of what was recorded from the connect so this clip allows me to play it over and over and over again by clicking on play well that's pretty much all you could do when you're not connected to the connect service host now the minute you connect to the connect service host now another wide range of opportunities open up for you so here I'm gonna go ahead and open up from and again you gotta open it from the file repository and I'm gonna choose that same file that I just recorded and again you can continue to move around the 3D space and the 3D world I could choose to look at the infrared by gray cloud I could play this uh, back but you notice the playback button is grayed out it's not enabled there's no way for me to play that information back well the reason why this is the case is because when you connect to the studio service host and you want to um, play back a file you actually have to have a connect device either a live device or something that can mimic the live device well the connect studio host can mimic the live device but the problem is is that the connect studio host is not communicating with the connect subsystem so the way you communicate with the connect subsystem is starting the connect service so again notice that I do not have a connect device pulled up here so I don't have a connect device so that means that this application now at this point is does not physically have a version 2 device connected to it it only has this connect studio app this connect service and this connect studio host so let's see what we can do now I'm gonna disconnect and connect back to it and now I'm gonna open that same file from the repository and now you notice that the file is open from the repository but now it's telling me I can play back that file and when I play back the file same thing happens but a peculiar thing happens when we have the connect studio host the connect service and an XRF or XEF file open from the repository what's happening is it's actually sending connect device commands so what this means is that I can stop my application and I can actually attempt to run my connect apps with this mechanism so I'll come back over here to the projects where I have my connect studio application and let's see what happens when we try and run it with the color feed first so I'll go ahead and run the connect do notice it says the connect sensor is open I'll go ahead and try and hit play and let's see what happens so my application is playing but you'll notice I'm not getting any events any color events from this application it's not paying attention to my hand, left hand or my right hand being raised but it does notice that the connect sensor is open well the reason for this is simple the color feeds right now are not coming through the uh, connect studio into the application so if you take a look here inside a connect studio you can see which streams are available for you uh, for playback and you'll notice here that there are no streams that say color so when you record your your XEF file or your XRF file you have to make sure that you select the stream that you need for your application or the source the data source that you need for your application and as you can see here I did not select that for this recording I only selected the raw infrared and some tele telemetry information so if you wanted to uh, get the right color source you would have to connect back up to the connect device and go ahead and re-record your clip so let's go ahead and take the connect device and make a recording utilizing the color stream so first thing I'm going to do is just kind of show you just I'm going to start all over I'm going to close down connect studio and I'm going to close down connect service and connect host and here I want to show you uh, my device manager that's already pulled up I'm going to plug in my device now so that you can see that and hopefully device manager recognizes the device voila very good and now that the device is recognized I'm gonna go start 
my Connect Studio Host app up first. Then I'm going to connect my service. And then I'm going to go ahead and start Connect Studio, the WPF app. And once I've connected to my device and I've started Connect Service, you'll see the three red lights on my Connect device symbolizing that the infrared and depth sensors are working. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and connect my Connect Studio application to the Connect host, the Connect uh, service host. And at that point in time, you notice that I have a live feed now. I can raise my hand and uh, you see, hey, we have a live feed. Now, when you're recording with the Connect device and you want to make sure that you record color from the color data source, you need to select the color data source. By default, the color data source is not selected. So if you notice down here at the bottom, this is the icon for when a stream is selected, and this is the icon for when a stream is not selected. So I'm going to scroll down to the color options, and you'll notice color is not selected. Now when you select it, you'll notice that there are some other data source streams that are dependent on the other ones, and they'll just come on when you select one. The other ones that are dependent on it will come on as well. So don't be afraid when you see stuff like that happens. So one thing to keep in mind, when we start recording with the color data stream, your data file, your XEF or XRF files are going to get extremely large. I mean, you know, 10 seconds can give you a gig of data. So what you want to do is you want to make your color streams quick and very concise and specific so that you can keep the file size as small as possible. So I'm going to hit and record about five seconds worth of data. I'm going to lift my right hand, left hand, both hands, and just record it because, again, I'm recording color. Now, when I did select color, another thing I want you to pay attention to is on your device, your device actually has four lights now. It has a white light and the three red lights. The white light symbolizes the color camera, the HD camera that's on the device. It's now turned on and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and record, do it quickly. There's one hand, there's another hand, there's both hands, and we're done. All right, so now I'm going to take my device off and do it all over again but now I have a new color coding color recording clip I can play that through the application so I'm going to stop connect studio I'm going to stop connect service stop connect host and I'm going to unplug my connect v2 device now I'm going to start connect studio host and I'm going to start connect service And I'm going to start Connect Studio WPF app. Now, because my device is not connected, of course, I have no colors on my device. I'm going to go ahead and connect my WPF app up to the Connect Studio service host or host service. And then I'm going to open from repository that file I just recorded from, which would be this one here. And notice, there we go, we have 3D image and everything, and we can play it back. But you notice when we play it back, there's no color. Typically, you get to the color by clicking your 2D tab, and when you right-click here, you'll see a color tab. But there's no color. That's because the color data source is not turned on to play. So by default, it's not even turned on to play. So the way you turn it on is coming down here at the bottom, you'll notice that the color data source is not turned on. So if we click it it becomes available and now when I right click here on my 2D tab in the grayscale mode I now have a color mode and when I click on play it plays the video in color very quickly here's the cool thing about when you're playing color you can click on different frames of the color and when you get to a particular frame you can take your mouse and hover above that particular frame where did that frame go? there we go maybe that wasn't the frame <laughs> And as you click on that frame, you can notice here when you click on a particular pixel, it shows you that particular RGB value over here in the property window, such as these pixels here. So again, you can use that in testing and development mode. So now that we're connected and we don't have a device, let's see if we can run this application in through our custom app. So I'm going to drag my Connect Studio app over here. I'm going to launch my custom Connect V2 based app. Let's see if I can find it. Here we go. Connect events through Connect Studio. 
And you'll notice that it's paused right now because the application it's you know it's in this quasi pause mode because the connect because the connect studio service host is mimicking the connect device but there's no feed running through it but it's almost like a paused state so when I go ahead and run it you'll notice now hey my app is now working both hands are above my head left hand right hand is above my head everything is good 